Each year, spring rains and snow melt carry pollutants down the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico, where they create a dead zone the size of New Jersey. The trouble begins near the river's headwaters, when it flows past a tributary called the Crow. Can what we learn here help us clean up the rest of this mighty river? One Saturday morning, just an hour outside Minneapolis, a mysterious group gathers. They sterilize their boots to ensure they aren't tracking in any invasive species from neighboring streams, then descend a steep path down to Minnesota's Crow River. These are odontologists, which means that today they're looking for dragonflies. Well, first of all, if you think of an uh, insect that might be charismatic, dragonfly is probably the one. They're just really cool insects. Well, I think there's a lot that surprises people that people don't know about dragonflies. They spend their infancy in the water, especially in muddy river bottoms, and sometimes for years, before transforming into dragonflies. Unlike some aquatic insects, they don't come to the surface as nymphs to breathe. They breathe the oxygen that's in the water. It's also interesting how they breathe. One of the things the kids always love to learn about in dragonfly nymphs is they breathe through their butts. And uh, they have a, a orifice back there, so anytime there's a lot of silt, it can impact their ability to breathe or gather oxygen in the water system. In a river like the Crow, that can be a major problem because the Crow River, well, it's, it's dirty. You have nitrate and phosphorus runoff from agriculture, silt from shorebank erosion, and stormwater runoff, to name just a few factors. Small invertebrates in the river ingest these pollutants. And the farther you go up the food chain, the higher these concentrations get, until you reach the apex predator of the invertebrate world, the dragonfly. They're more effective as hunters than lions or even great white sharks. Is the dragonfly the proverbial canary in the coal mine? What can it be in here, or not be in here? Tell us about the state of this river. If the dragonfly being a, the top predator isn't there, if you only have one species and there should be 25, that's a pretty good indicator that something's wrong with the system. The dragonfly is just one indicator that the Crow River's in trouble. So what about fish? In Dispatch 4, we find out with the Electro Fisherman. <laughs> 